Hey, this is Mr. Mason Ed, and what we're going to do is we are going to review 10 different area problems that I took from an assessment that I created, and you can access that assessment online by clicking on the description below. All right, so for this first problem, it says that if the area of a square is 36 units squared, what is the length of each side? Now, what we should remember about any square is that its length and its width are identical in length. So that means to find the area of any square, we are going to multiply a number by itself. And the only thing that you can multiply by itself to make 36 is 6, which means each side must be a length of 6. Now, an answer that is incorrect that I see a lot of students come up with is 9, because they confuse perimeter with area. They think that you do 4 times 9 to get 36, but that would be incorrect. The length is 6 and the width is 6. And 6 times 6 produces an area of 36 square units. All right, now for the next problem. So this problem is asking, what is the area of a rectangle if its length is 3 centimeters and its width is 3 times bigger than its length? Well, we know that the area of a rectangle can be found by multiplying that rectangle's length by its width. And it is given in the problem that its length is 3 centimeters. And then the problem goes on to say that its width is 3 times bigger than its length. Well, if its length is 3 centimeters, then its width must be 9 centimeters. Because 9 is 3 times bigger than 3. So the area of this rectangle must be equal to 27 square centimeters. All right. On to the next problem. All right, we have to find the area of this parallelogram. And to find the area of any parallelogram, we just multiply the length of its base by the length of its height. So first we have to identify the length of the parallelogram's base and then identify the length of the parallelogram's height. So the base of the parallelogram would be from this point right here to this point right here. So when measuring the base of a parallelogram that's located on some graph paper, we have to be careful. I've seen a lot of students try to count the boxes inside and they get a little bit confused by that. But remember, when we're measuring the base of something, we're just measuring it in linear units. So we're not worried about the square units at this time. And where you start your measurement is going to be zero because we haven't moved yet. So the distance from here to here would be one. And then from here to here would be two and then three, four, five, and six. So the length of this parallelogram's base is a distance of six units. Now to calculate its height, we just go to the very top of our parallelogram and we draw a line going straight down like this. So we have to remember that when finding the height of a parallelogram, its height is gonna be perpendicular to its base. Some people get confused and they think this slanted line right here is a parallelogram's height, which would be incorrect. So starting from the bottom, from here to here would be a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4. So we would take 6 and 4 and multiply them together to come up with an area of 24 square units. All right, on to the next problem. All right, to calculate the area of a square, we just multiply the length of one side by itself. Because remember, the length and the width of any square are identical. So we're going to take 3 times 3 to get 9 for our numerator. And 4 times 4 is 16 for our denominator. And this fraction cannot be simplified, so our answer is 9 sixteenths square inches. All right, let's go to number 5. All right, to find the area of any triangle, we have to multiply its base by its height and then divide by 2. So what we're going to do is take 18, which is the length of our triangle's base, and multiply by 9, and then we're going to divide by 2. Now, what I personally like to do is I like to take either the base or the height. I always take the number that's even and divide that by 2 first. And because 18 is even, I'm going to take that and divide it by 2. And 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. 
So if we take 9 times 9, that is going to give us the area of our triangle. So 81 square centimeters is the answer. All right, let's go to number 6. All right, to find the area of this rectangle, we have to multiply the length of 5 eighths by the width of 4 fifths. Now, if we multiply the numerators together, we have a product of 20, and the denominators produce 40. And 20 is exactly half of 40, so our answer is 1 half square meters. All right, that one was pretty easy. Let's go to number 7. All right, for a triangle, we have to multiply its base times its height and divide by 2. So let's start by identifying the length of the triangle's base. All right, so this point right here would be 0. This is where we start for the base. And we would say from here to here is a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So our base is 16 units. All right, now we have to figure out what our height is. So what we do is we start at the highest point of our triangle and we go straight down. Remember, the height of a triangle will always be perpendicular to its base. So starting right here at the bottom, we would say from here to here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And we have to take this and divide it by 2. Now, once again, I like to select one of these two dimensions on the top and divide it by 2 first. So I'm going to take 16 and divide it by 2. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. And 8 times 8 is 64. So the area of this triangle is 64 square units. All right, let's go on to number 8. Okay, to find the area of a trapezoid, we have to add the trapezoid's two bases. We call those B sub 1 and B sub 2. And we take that sum and divide it by 2. And then after coming up with that value, we can multiply it by the height of the trapezoid. Now, the two bases of a trapezoid are always the two sides of the trapezoid that are parallel to each other. So this line right here, or side of the trapezoid, is one of the bases. and this line, which is parallel to this line, is our second base. So let's find the distance of this base and then the distance of this base. So starting here at 0, going here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So one of our bases is a length of 7, and our other base is a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, so we're going to add. 7 and 5 together, we have to take that total and divide it by 2. And then after that, we multiply by the height of the trapezoid. And this line right here represents the height of our trapezoid. So that is a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right, so 7 plus 5 is 12. So we have to take 12 and divide that by 2 and then multiply that by 6. Well, 12 divided by 2 is 6, so 6 times 6 is the area of our trapezoid. So the area of this trapezoid is 36 square units. All right, let's go on to number 9. All right, for this example, we have another trapezoid. So let's go ahead and identify the lengths of our two bases. So starting here at 0, we go from here to there. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. All right, and the length of our top base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, now what we have to do is identify the length of our height, which will be right here. 
So starting from the bottom, we have a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the first step is to add the two bases, which are lengths of 14 and 8. And we always take that total and we divide by 2 and then multiply by the height of the trapezoid. So we have 14 plus 8, which is 22. And we have to divide that by 2 and then take that and multiply by 8. 22 divided by 2 is 11, and 11 times 8 is equal to 88 square units. All right, let's go to our last problem. For this problem, we have to figure out what is the area of the shaded portion of the figure. Now, really, all we have to do in this problem is literally count how many squares are shaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this shape as having a rectangle here that's shaded. And we have a rectangle here that is shaded. And then we have these two skinny rectangles, one on the top. And we have another one at the bottom. So all we have to do is find the area of each one of these four rectangles and then add them together. So this rectangle right here have the dimensions of 6 by 3. And 6 times 3 is 18. And this rectangle over on the right-hand side is identical to this rectangle, so it also has an area of 18. So, so far we have two rectangles with an area of 18 for a total of 36 square units. And these skinny rectangles here each have an area of 6. And 6 plus 6 is 12, so let's go ahead and add 12 to 36. So that gives us a total of 48 square units. All right, so we just went over 10 area problems that I derived from one of the assessments that you can find by clicking on the link below in the description. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can become informed as new tutorials become available.